Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. I uh, fixed my microphone. All right, my friend. Mohammed, how, how I can help you, Mohammed? Yeah, so I've been listening to your uh, YouTube channel for about a month, and uh, I always finish the whole one and a half hour or two hours that you've been talking wow. about um, uh, the religion of Islam. And it seems that you are very educated, and I have done some research about you. It seems that you are very knowledgeable about the topic. Okay. And I have some, uh, I'm in doubt, so I'm just trying to confirm the things that you have already been saying and basically I've been thinking about uh, I heard that when uh, Muhammad uh, uh, made up the Quran um, it never got written down until he died many years afterwards is this true Correct. because I can't Your family, they say to you, you will understand the Quran only if you read the trans the interpretation, right? Yeah, exactly. And let us read together. And from his narration and the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon. Noon, he says, Allah swear by noon. I mean, that's funny. Allah swear by noon. Why Allah swear by noon? People, they swear by something bigger than them, more important. Then, which is a wheel that carries the earth on its back while in water and beneath which is a bowl and under the bowl there is a rock and under the rock there is a dust and none knows what is under the dust of Allah here look at the, the look look at the honesty like come on I mean we know everything and behind the dust we do not know don't ask me please I'm writing this down. This is this is the most interesting bedtime story I've seen past months. I've been listening to you. Well, my friend, keep listening, and you will hear every day a story. Islam is nothing but a madness. And you know, look, I mean, the, the story continue. But you see how they hide in the translation in Ibn Kathir. In Ibn Kathir, in English, we cannot find this. We can find it only in Arabic. So you need to ask yourself why the one who translated the interpretation he did not translate because it's very embarrassing this is obviously it's very embarrassing so we cannot translate that to you otherwise everybody will laugh at us yeah oh my god man this is like a whole new whole new level of uh, stupidity i mean most of the time i lie, i lay in my bed and i hear your stories and i'm close my eyes i off my phone i can hear you talk and i laugh sometimes because it gets so hilarious but this the more, like I, the more I keep digging, the more I feel that there is no... Uh, so my friend, you just call this time <laughs> stupidity. So why you don't say I am out of this time? Yeah, I think, I think I just needed this confirmation. Okay, so... Yeah. I think I don't, I, I don't feel uh, Muslim at all. So can you say I am out of Islam? Yeah, I can say it. I'm that's, out of Islam, that's definitely. Beautiful, my friend. That's beautiful. I'm so happy for you. Very happy for you. Thank you. Hello? Yes. Do you hear me? I do hear you. Go ahead. Finally. I've been waiting so long for this moment, but okay. That's all right. Uh, well, I have, a, I have some questions. All right. Are you on Muslim first? Uh, yes. All right. Actually, yes. <clears throat> um, but I'm struggling. Uh, I just want to know the truth. I have uh, some questions. Yeah, right. yeah, but that's really what uh, they say about it. Because someone had a question. Uh, he, he said, "Well, I, I saw in the Quran that something about uh, mm. sperm is made in uh, uh, the chest or something like that near the ribs, mm. you know." Mm. And she 
tells them, oh, is that true? And then someone uh, some from an Islamic website told them from um, there is a vein, and mm. if that w- vein uh, does, doesn't work anymore, there will be not, no sperm. It's That's it? because of that vein. But this is okay. And, and, and that one is located near the ribs. Mm, so that's their answer. Ah, yeah, but the Quran is saying it's a gushing fluid coming from the ribs. Well, first of all, women don't have a sperm. Do women have a sperm? No. Okay, so what vein? This is about yeah, women. From, the, from the man, from the man. No, from this the verse talking about the man and the women. Read. This is Ibn Kathir. I will give you the link so you can read it later. This is Ibn Kathir saying clearly that this is about. A sexual fluid coming from the man and the women. The sexual fluid of the man is coming from the backbone. He created you from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid. And by the way, this is what he meant when he says we created everything from water. We start with the sperm. Uh, the sexual fluid that's come from breast forth. It is not a vein. It's not a nerve. It's a sexual fluid coming from where? From the men and the women. Okay, and the child will not produce except by both of them. Continue proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. But vain women don't have a sperm. Oh, they're just lying about that. I, was, I, I really saw that they are trying to cover a big fat error in the Quran. Okay, so why you don't say I am out of this gar- garbage? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> okay. I'm out of this silly garbage. Wonderful. Here we go. Uh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for you. What? It goes five, four, everybody! Bam. Let's go! Damn, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She feel my mind the way that I did. Oh, my God! I'm the highest in the room. We the highest in the world. Hope I make it out of here. Hey. Yeah, you need to be brave. I mean, you're holding yourself, you're holding yourself, and inside you, I can tell, you're convinced that this is a garbage religion. So what are you waiting for? So you are a Moroccan, you decide, you know, you are just following the tradition because, okay, I grew up in a society and I believe in this for a long time, but you can tell already that this is false. So yes, it's a garbage, I'm out of it. I'm happy for you. I'm not well, going to ask you. hard with families and, you know, so you, what? you don't I mean, know I'm, not, I'm not going to stop, uh, it keeps following something stupid just because my family, they follow some the same stupid thing. That will make us all of us stupid. I want to be smart. And that is Jesus. This is why Jesus, he is a man, yet he can raise people from death. He can forgive sin. He can make the blind see. He can do things nobody can do. So being a man did not change the nature that he is God in the same time. So he has the nature of a man, so we can see him. Otherwise, nobody can see God, for he is so glorious. He humble himself, so you can see him as a person. That is true. So what do you think about accepting the Messiah now? Yes. Do you accept him? I accept him. Amazing. Hallelujah. Thank uh, you. I, uh, you made me so happy, really. I'm really tired from speaking for long with many people. But today, you, you, made, you made my day come to be happy day. So I want to say thank you. And may the Lord... Bless your heart. And God is king with the soldiers. Oja Beam out the solar. When I get to heaven's gates, I ain't got to peek over. Keeping perfect composure. When I scream at the chauffeur, I ain't mean I'm just focused. I ain't mean I'm just focused. Put a lean out slower. Got his clean out of soda. Before the flood, people judge. They did the same thing to Noah. Everybody wanted Yandy. The Jesus Christ did the laundry. They say that we start on Monday, but the strong start on Sunday. Won't be in bondage to any man. John 8 3 3. We the descendants of Abraham. Yea, should be made free. John 8 3 6. To whom the Son set free is free indeed. He said, The rich like me. You are a new person. Even the Bible says that we have to be reborn again with Jesus in order to be 
the children of God. So today you are reborn again. You are a new person. You are not just a person as before you come. You are totally a new person. And the Lord will be with you, my friend. And let me say, my sister, because now you are my sister in Christ. So I'm really happy for you, and I will be happy anytime. You have a Yes, Mr. Omar, how are you? You are live on YouTube now. Yes, no problem, no problem. How I can help you, Omar? What do you want to say to us about the topic we are speaking about? I don't know if you are watching with us. This is the hadith. Your prophet, he said that the black stone is going to witness for you in the day of judgment. It's going to have a tongue, it's going to have eyes, and it's going to talk. What do you say? Like, uh, you mean it, it's uh, about the... Uh, like uh, when the world ends or yes yes in the, what in the day of resurrection block. at the end yeah at the end day of resurrection so the black stone is going to have eyes uh -huh. is going to have tongue and is going to speak what do you say about that in uh, in which hadith uh, this is jami al turmudi like the 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 real uh, hadith because it's many you know hadith in in a different <laughs> let us skip this one look at this so beautiful what do you think what is that i mean come on i mean this is islam is so beautiful brother i mean look at this this prophet he chose i mean perfect uh this is look at this uh posing like man very tempting uh, and this is what your prophet said compare I'm not making things up here we go your prophet he says they are so wide to the point they are so beautiful pure by the way it's not the pure it's they are they are pure in, in the case of, like they are so wide to the point they are transparent does it say transparent in front of you does it say no that? read the hadith it says transparent correct yeah who, who, who will be so beautiful pure and transparent okay and then he says and the marrow of their bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh yeah it's kind of you know yeah, i don't know what to say <laughs> you make you now you make me like uh, you know i don't know now about uh, islam so why you don't leave Islam, uh, Omar? You don't sound like a stupid person for me. I mean, isn't it obvious that this guy is trying to tempt us with the stupid things? Those Arab, they like white women, and Muhammad is exaggerating with his uh, false promises to the point he claimed that we are going to have women who their 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 uh, their bones, their marrow of their bones. Oh, by the way, Omar, I like that because if your wife she eat your meal in the fridge, now you know who ate it. I mean, think about it. Mm -hmm. You can see what is inside the stomach. All the, excuse me, all the shit inside, you will see it too. That's beautiful too, you know? So, I mean, what this guy is talking about? How Muhammad can be a prophet of God and what kind of a promises? Uh, somebody, <clears throat> I don't understand, say again. Uh, you, you know, the first Quran uh, Muhammad has. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Aisha. Uh, I don't know if Aisha or if it gets it gets bur burned up. They uh, like put fire and like it, it, it disappeared. So uh, all, all the Quran of Muhammad. one of the uh, Aisha, they memorized it. And Nobody they memorized read it down. No, no, no. You see, they collected the Quran from many people who memorize each one who memorized the verse. They put it there, but they don't have one person who memorized everything. They don't. And uh, yeah. uh, 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 the Caliphate, Uthman, he burned all the Qur'ans. So, uh, Omar, what do you think? Be honest with me. Do you think this is a prophet of God who would say such a thing? No, not really. Okay, so uh, why you don't say I'm out of Islam? You just said not really. 
Why you don't say I'm out of Islam? You are watching my videos. For I'm, I'm years. scared of my dad. Um, the coach. What he will do to you because he's a sheikh? What he will do? You think he will harm you? No, he will say like go out of the house and. Oh, because uh, so you are afraid from losing the house. He owned the house. No, you know the family. Oh yeah, okay. Well, my friend, uh, you see, which one is better? Uh, if your family really are a family, they will never denounce you, no matter what you do. Uh, but if they are a fake family, then they will do. Right? I mean, you did not do any. You did not do any crime. You did not do anything. You know, this is stupid. You don't believe in this garbage. So why your family, if they really they love you as a family, why they will uh, reject you? It doesn't make sense. And you know what? If they reject you for being truthful, well, you don't want them then. The whole world is full of people. We are living in Earth, have seven billion a human beings. You can find a better family than your family. And let me tell you something. I don't believe in a family. Thing. Uh -huh. I believe that anyone is good to me is my family. Your brother can can be a person who hurt you. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. So family is somebody is good to you, my friend. It's not a it's not a person who is from your blood. At, at least the one who choose to be your uh, closer friend to you, he choose to be. He is not forced to by like by birth because your brother is your brother by birth, right? You did not choose him. He did not choose exactly. him. Exactly. So a person who is a stranger is good to you. He can be better to you than your brother. So what do you think, uh, Omar? Are you going to are you willing to announce that you are out, out of Islam? It's kind of uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I, you are out of. I can say um. Okay. Boss. Okay. You ready for single tomorrow? Si, si. See, see. You ready for single tomorrow? Let's go, Papi. Let's get it. Go, 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 go. Well, I'm so happy for you. Omar. Okay, All right, Omar. Sound sound good. So, guys, we have here a gentleman. His name is Omar. He is a son of a sheikh, and he decided to leave Islam. Wonderful, wonderful, Omar. If you value the hijab more than the woman wearing it, you have no respect for women. And I'm not hijab. She just wants to be beautiful. She goes unnoticed. She knows. No limits, she craves attention, she praises an image, she prays to be sculpted by the sculptor. Oh, she don't see the light that's shining deeper than the eyes can find it. Maybe we are made of blind souls. She tries to cover up her pain and cut her woes away. Cause cover girls don't cry after the face is made. But there's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark You should know you're beautiful just the way you are And you don't have to change a thing The world could change its heart No scars, see you're beautiful We stars and we're beautiful oh, 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 oh. And you don't have to change a thing The world could change Happy No Hijab Day, ladies. May you feel the wind in your hair and the sun on your cheeks and do whatever you want, whenever you want, and wear whatever you want, whenever you want. Starving, you know, cover girls eat nothing, she says. Beauty is pain and there's beauty in everything. What's a little bit of hunger? I can go a little while longer. Hello, I'm Ali Malik and I'm awesome without Allah because leaving Islam also meant losing that false sense of superiority that came with Islam. It meant I no longer dehumanized non-Muslims. I respected 
uh, others on the basis of their humanity and how good they are towards me meant uh, that that meant my relationships with uh, with everybody were a lot more authentic and based on humanity the biggest liberation for me uh, was uh, my behavior towards women and how i no longer believed uh, the women should submit to me or women being inferior to men I felt really guilty when I took it off. I felt naked because this had become a part of me and so it kind of felt like I was walking around with my shirt off. It became a litmus test more or less for if a woman was Muslim or not, if she was good or not. For those who don't know you very well, it's kind of the first impression they have is that you wear hijab and then a whole set of ideas about who you are and what you believe. I felt kind of at some point that I wanted to see what life was like without it. When I first took off the hijab and I could just walk down the street, it was, it was like, I felt free. And I am awesome without Allah because while I was a Muslim, I always felt like I needed to justify all the evils that, you know, my prophet or Islam itself it taught. And now I, I am free. I no longer need to defend his honor, especially when there is nothing to defend. For example, in the case of when he married Aisha, and she was six like she was a baby she she barely knew how to you know make sense of the world and he just took her innocence and destroyed it and that's not someone that i can see as the perfect role model to follow and that's what islam tells us to do <laughs> وللأسف كذلك مفاتنها تبين والعباية شوي قصيرة جزء من سيقانها تبين حرام This is what I looked like in Saudi for 26 years. This was put on me before I was a teenager. I was not given a choice in putting this on. And whenever I took it off in public, I was threatened or I was beaten or I was kidnapped and jailed. I was called a whore for not wearing it. This was not my choice. Let it burn, let it burn. And I will burn it. He's living in a world and it's on fire. Filled with catastrophe. But she knows she can fly away. what a tool of oppression looks like. And that's the fate of all tools of oppression. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. She's walking on fire. This girl is on fire.
Hello. Hello. Yes. How is it Christian Prince? Yes, we are live on air in YouTube. Everybody hear you. What do you want to say to me, my friend? Okay, I, I was listening to all these. Um, just checking your references you're giving against my Quran. Mm. Either you are a filthy fat liar or all the imams since I was a child mm. have been lying to me because okay. Islam I was taught mm. Surah Baqarah at 256 uh, says like din there is no compulsion in in religion I I quoted for you live on on air what you choose correct it was your choice so obviously Islam is not what some Muslims they think you are a Muslim but you've been taught that uh, the Prophet says you have my religion you have yours this one when he was weak it's abrogated now we prove to you that the first thing you say to us about Islam give a freedom of a choice that is a big fat lie they told you even the Prophet of Islam he says I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and no prophet but Muhammad and if they do so only if they do so I will stop killing them and shedding their blood and here we go all those hadith are sahih and they are accurate you have you have not only not only you have to say the shahada you have to pray as we pray you have to fast as we fast you have to face the qibla you have to pay the zakat is it a hadith and, then, and this, did, is hadith. this is say? sahih this is sahih it doesn't matter hadith or not this is Sahih, yeah. No, sahih did you say it's Hadith or, or Quran? My friend, this is Hadith and Sahih, but it okay. is in total agreement with it's chapter you. 9, verse 29. I have been ordered to fight the people till they say man has the right to be worshipped, but Allah, and if they say so, pray like our prayers face our Qibla and slaughter as we slaughter. Then their blood and property will be sacred to us and we will not interfere with them except legally. And their reckoning will be with Allah. Hmm. So, what does that mean? Uh, what's the Sahih number 392? Sahih al Bukhari 392. Let me call I go, I go sunnah.com. Let me check. Sorry, I need to check. I don't trust anyone anymore. Bukhari. Right. Yeah, so that means, so this, if this is true, it abrogates, I have 256 Surah Baqarah and Surah Kafirun. If this is true, it abrogates, I have 256 Surah Baqarah and Surah Kafirun. In the chapter at Tawbah, abrogate everything because Quran is more powerful, right? So the Quran and the Hadith here confirm that what you said to me in the beginning, it was not really accurate. And this is the truth. It's, uh, it says confirming that you have to obey Muhammad first because obeying Muhammad is obeying Allah. So which means Muhammad no, that's is... That's wrong. That's, that's no, no good. I don't, I don't obey a, a person rather than God. My friend, it's not up to you. This is your Quran. You are a Muslim. You have to obey. You can not, never obey a sinner. Okay, so it says here, he will be the messenger, will be Allah. To assume, I wouldn't, to assume that I, I can I obey Muhammad. I don't allow my children to kiss my hands either. And do you practice muta today? No. Why? Because my wife is going to kill me. <laughs> this is not the question. This is not because of... No, I don't, I don't believe. Muta is, is, is not... Uh, no, it's filthy. It's like... Okay, to so me, what I, so, sounds like a prostitution okay, business. Okay, thank you. I respect your, your honesty. You agree that this is a prostitution. So why Allah allowed the muta'ah? Because, because muta'ah is ujra. It's for, you pay money for it. Exactly. Okay? exactly. It's not a free service. It's it's you exactly. pay somebody to have sex. This exactly. is what muta'ah means. Exactly. Actually, even Muslim scholars agree that this is about renting a woman, musta'ajara. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So why Allah he allow you? You just said it's prostitution. Why uh, Allah he allow you to rent women? Uh, all all I'm all I have been trying to do all these years in my life, um, asking these verses, but I just 
you know, convincing myself they're probably a different time of life. Mm. Okay, but let us go different back. Different needs. No problem. But, but no, you see, see, why? Did Musa allow people to do muta before Muhammad? Muhammad uh, Musa is a lot older. Did Jesus allow muta? No. I mean, that's not a, that's not a reason. I mean, if, if, if we want to find reason, we can find reason for anything. Like, you might say to a man who was a rapist, why you rape this woman? Oh, she was wearing a short skirt. <laughs> but that would not change the fact that you are a rapist. Correct? If you ask no, him, he's, he wanna, he, he's a thief. Why you stole? Oh, uh, this guy, he had a lot of money. But still, you are a thief. You know, this is not ex excuse. Look what it says right. here. This is your Muslim website, and those are your scholars. Saying that Muslim women, when she have the contract of muta, in some works, a special terms applied. Women who practice muta, musta ajara, or rented women, Muta is considered as a kind of rental because, in general, a man's basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women. Go, 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 shawty. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. We're going to sip a party like it's your birthday. And you know we don't give a fuck because that's your birthday. You can find me in the club. Bottle full of bub, mama, I got what you need if you need to fill a buzz. I'm in the having sex, I ain't in the making love, so come give me a hug. Um, I can't decide now because I need to, lots of things to chase. It doesn't matter. But, if, uh, if this one is a lie, I mean, the rest is a lie. I mean, you just say this is impossible. This is I'm, not, I'm not. Um, I'm not. I'm not I'm, I'm, I, I. I don't deny any mistakes. If I do a mistake, I but put if, my hands if up. The Quran, if my the father Quran, do a mistake, if the Quran then... is unvalid no more. Islam is gone. Chapter twenty-four. You are the one. If who this, asked me, all the, if these are true, my friend. Yes, okay. I. I you will denounce listen. Islam. All right, that's wonderful, guys. He said he promised he would denounce Islam. Whoever this bit, this part here, whoever written didn't have a clue about anything in the sky, but what's going on in the sky. Assuming that the one who did this is Allah, Allah have no clue. It doesn't make a sense, my friend. Absolutely. Hypocrisy no. is not in my mind. I listen to reality. I listen to proof, evidence. Now, you promise me if I show you this and this way was true, you will leave Islam. Correct? Yes. Are you willing to keep your promise? Yes. So are you denouncing Islam? If, if this is all true, we heard Islam is a cult. So you agree Islam is a cult? Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. We hear you. You are live. Who is with me? I hear you. I'm all right. All right. What do you want to be about? You are a Muslim? Yeah. To be honest with you, I cannot debate a Muslim. Very intelligent. You tell me, what do you like me to ask you? You see, because you are very smart and you are very, you know, I mean, scary. Tell me the question and I will repeat the question as it is to you. <laughs> okay. Um... Chapter two, verse yeah. number sixty-two. Uh, okay. That's true. That. Okay. Yeah. How, how we say that Christianity is false, and then he, in his time, he's promising the Christians and the Jews and the Sabians to go to heaven. The thing is, he's promising everyone heaven. Absolutely, and not only that, he's promising the Sabian who worship stars. So you're making him seem as though he was just trying to recruit. He was trying to make himself accepted in, for everybody, like Obama during the election, like in America, you know. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, when, when people they speak to atheists, he play as an atheist. When when the mm. when the one who want to support him is a gay, he say I have no problem with gay. 
When he speak to Christian, he say to them, I love the Bible. When he speak to Muslims, he say to them, the Prophet Muhammad was amazing. So they have many colors. They have many, many, uh, you know, forms because they are deceivers. When we say the moon is split, it's mean the moon became two pieces. Do I agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I agree. Okay. So there is no way the moon is split because that would destroy the moon immediately. Secondly, what happened? Allah, he put it together again. <laughs> if, if, the, if the moon if is God split. Is if God is on powerful, he can surely do that. Is God, is, if God is what? If God is all powerful, then he can. No, no, no. Means. Yeah, but you see, the Quran does not report that Allah He put it together. Muhammad He said the opposite. He says the moon is split and the judgment day is near, which means this is a sign that the judgment day, they started already. Hmm. Why? Because the moon is split. He did not say, okay, and Allah He put it together. What happened that Muhammad He saw the eclipse, and he copied a poetry of a man. His name is Umar Al Qais. Uh, and this man He was making a poet about a woman He liked, a woman He loved. What he said that that, that when he saw her, he, he you see the Arab they like white women. Yeah, the Arab because they live in the desert. The sun is strong. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so he's he, he's making a point about his pretty girlfriend, uh -huh. or let's say lover. So when he saw her, he said the judgment day uh, is near, uh, and the moon is split ascender. He was talking about his girlfriend. He was not talking about the moon. <laughs> I will show you the point in the front of you in the screen, and you can take a snapshot from the screen, and you can show anyone. ذات الساعة وانشق القمر عن غزال صاد قلبي ونفر أحور قد قرحت في أصواف أوصافه ناعس الطرف بعينيه حور مر يوم العيد في زنته فرماني فتعاطى فعقر. You see all the lines, guys, in the in the screen. All those lines. Do you see it, my friend Adam? Um, I can't access the video okay. at the moment, but I'm all those back. lines, all those lines in the screen, I'm showing, I'm showing the point. All those yeah. lines, Muhammad he took it and he put it in the Quran as it is from this poetry. Mm. You know, here you see actually not not this one, the one underneath. Faramani This is a verse in the Quran. Mm. You know, uh, Muhammad is nothing but a thief. He took it, he put it in the Quran, and he claimed that this is about the moon split. But so what you're saying, what you're telling me is he's he's extracted poetry from elsewhere and yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So I invite you right now to denounce Islam, to reject Islam, and if you have a question for me about Christianity more, I will be happy to answer you, my friend. I will be happy to hear from a smart person like you, who is born of a Muslim family, to accept that Muhammad no way can be a prophet. And that it will be the good start for you to be a new person and then we can search maybe the messiah is a true maybe he's not you know instead you have to make decision but you don't you don't you don't you just admit it and you just agree that muhammad can't be a prophet you did not say it clearly but you did say that you said that already so why you don't say it don't, why you don't say okay there is no way muhammad is a prophet um because obviously when you believe something for so long, you can't just immediately change that belief, can you? So my friend Adam, what are you waiting for? Denounce this garbage, man. This is this is not for you. You are smarter than this. You are an honorable man. You cannot be a person who belongs to this. So where do I belong? Do you want to belong to Muhammad after what you heard? Do you want to belong to this? Do you want really to believe in someone teaching you this? Mm. Be honest. Well, no. Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you, I hear you. Yeah, so um, based on what you said, no, but, you know, no. So my friend, say it. Say Muhammad can't be a prophet. Denounce Muhammad right now. Denounce the devil, my friend. I'm waiting. So you want me to 
Denounce, so denounce. denounce the devil, denounce Muhammad. Obviously, this is the devil, my friend. Say Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. I am out of this. Okay. So what is it? What what do you think? What you should say? I think. Tough words, to be honest with you. I know you are a man of courage and you can say it, my friend. Denounce him. Your honor is in the stake. Your honor. Do you accept this? This is this is about honor. A person who... But this is where I come from. Do you know what I mean? Sorry? This is where I come from. No, no. You see, you, you, you did not choose where you are coming from. Nothing wrong with that. You see, I, me and you, we did not choose. But when we grow... Yeah, but that, I can't say to you... I can't say to you them words and then then go to my community and pretend that I never said this. We'll say it, it's, you know, it's, uh, you, you want to go to the community, you say to them, you want to be a hypocrite? I don't want to be a hypocrite either. So? You are worried about your community, but you are not worried about your honor. You want to you wanna, you wanna fool yourself, says I don't this. So you are saying to me, okay, I agree with you. Muhammad is a false prophet. Obviously, this is devilish, cannot be from God. But because I have a community and I have to make them happy with me, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. But that means I accept with my respect to you to be a hypocrite. Hypocrisy, hypocrisy is to say to people not what I believe, is not what they think is right for them. Correct? Yeah. So now you believe that Muhammad is not a prophet, but yet you want to say to them Muhammad is a prophet just because you don't want to make them make them sad. But, but that, you know, you will respect, respect yourself. It's up to you, you know. So denounce Muhammad, say, be a man. And I'm sure you are the man. Denounce him and say, Muhammad can't be a prophet. There is no way I'm going to follow such a man. Okay. Uh, Muhammad cannot be a prophet. I accept that, yeah. I mean to that. Wonderful. Bro, bro, man, what are we finna do this weekend? No money. What are we finna do? Cut up. Cut up. Hey, cut up. Oh, 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 let's cut up. go. Cut up. Come to Fasa. Come to Fasa. Come to Fasa. Come to Fasa. Let us hear you. What do you want to say to us, my friend? I don't know. You tell me. We're trying to debate about. Well, you are a Muslim, right? Yes. What does that mean? What do you mean? What does it mean? It's just, I'm a Muslim, isn't it? What does that mean to be a Muslim? Um, to believe in Allah and the Messenger. To be to believe in Allah. Who is Allah? We are in the in chapter eighty six, verse number seven. Uh, uh, the, the Quran claim that the man sperm coming from the backbone of the man, and the women sperm coming from the ribs of the women, which is extremely stupid and madness. Women they don't have a sperm, and <laughs> this would be stupid to believe that the sperm of the man came from the backbone. What about the balls then? And then to make it more stupid, he claimed that the sperm of the women coming from the ribs, but women they have no sperm. And there is nothing come from the ribs. That's stupid. So do you want to be a Muslim, my friend? <laughs> Wait, so how come a lot of people don't know this? My friend, nobody knows. As you see, I mean, like, as you see, ask yourself the same question. How come you do not know? You are a Muslim too. So they are the same as you. I, sorry to say so. How come you do not know? But thanks God you came in my way, you know, or let's say I came in your way. And I'm sharing with you. So, my friend, I invite you right now to leave this cult. What do you say? This is cannot be from God. This is stupid. You are smarter than this. You are an educated person. This is garbage. I agree that some things are kind of old, to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, I need some time to kind of. Why well, you need some time? It's enough for you. Okay, how many how many tons of reference I need to show you that this is stupid? I mean, come on, you are smarter than this. And already you said this is silly. I heard you many times saying this is silly, which means this is stupid. Um, it is both scientifically and logically. Okay, Doesn't so mean. how are you want to believe in such a garbage? Say I am out of this cult. You are smarter than this. Well, even if I do this, um, I won't be able to tell um, my parents. So, no problem. But uh, we are talking now. You forget about your parents. Your parents maybe something later. But at least in your in your heart, you know that you are not a Muslim. So, you, did you decide to leave Islam, my friend? 
but I'll have to look at the interpretations of. I'm showing you the interpretation. Here we go. It's in the front of you. So, if we want to take a partner, it's going to be a woman, but the woman is a human being. How she can be your partner? I'm not sure who that is. My friend, come on, you are smarter than this. Just denounce this cult. Say, I am out of it. Yeah, so what do I do then? Say it, and I will tell you what you will do. I'm out. I am out. You know you are fire, right? Yeah, let's go! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Guys, did you hear it? I am out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for sending this gentleman who sent me a message in Skype saying, I want to debate you. He was challenging me. By the way, you did not lose. You did not lose, my friend. You did not lose. Hold on. You did not lose. You did win. You did not lose. Don't think you lost. You won. No, I'm, I'm just asking. I'm, I'm just called to confirm certain things I've been doing. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just telling them what you said to me in text before you call me. I want to debate you, right? You know? <laughs> so, my friend, you are welcome. I'm happy for you. Answer, answer, my friend. Hello? Yes, hello. Yes, I want to give you a verse. All right. So you said you are a Muslim first, right? Yes. And what kind of Muslim you are? Uh, I'm a Sunni Muslim. All right. Give me a verse, my friend. So Allah, he agreed with Omar in three things. And one of them is the direction and making the, the, the Kaaba as a, sta uh, a prayer station. And here you need to ask yourself, what kind of God? He forgot about the Kaaba all those years. Muhammad was praying to Jerusalem all these years. Suddenly, Omar al-Khattab, he said, okay, well, let us pray to Jerusalem, pray to Kaaba, you know? And that, supposedly, was an idea from Omar, and Allah, he liked the idea. And not only that, uh, you know, uh, Allah, he wrote the verse exactly as Omar, he said. And you because... are the one who said to me a few minutes ago, if you remember, yeah. that the Quran itself is a miracle, right? Yes. Okay, should Allah then copy Quran from Omar? It says, read carefully with me. So the verse, the verse was revealed the same as I had said. Do you see it? Yes. But I thought nobody can make Quran like, like the Quran. But Allah here is copying Omar. And he put what Omar said exactly in the Quran. All this time, Allah did not notice that women, they should wear hijab. Just because Omar, he said something, and again, again, as Omar said, Allah took the verse, he put it in the Quran, and he made the order for hijab. Yes. Yeah, that, that's, that, that doesn't sound right at all with me. Okay. So, I mean, did, have you ever seen something we made today which we spoke about sound right, anything? There's nothing, there's nothing in this book sound right. Yeah, well, uh, you, you know the things that uh, were told, um, you know, some parts of the world about, you know, um, how Muhammad um, was like one of the best generals, one of the best persons and that kind of stuff. Our friend Muhammad uh, is the mm -hmm. best man between all mankind, but this is always a fabrication yeah. of those, you know, who wrote this history about the best man? If the Muslims, if the Muslims describe Muhammad as horrible as they are describing him after they say he is the best man. So imagine how was bad he is. To make it simple for you, you know this. You listen, know the story. Listen, 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 my friend. Listen carefully. Let us say I was in the army of Hitler, and Hitler was victorious. And now I'm writing how amazing Hitler is, and I say, there's a guy, he have a slave, and the slave she was insulting Hitler, and then Hitler said, who killed this slave? Bring him here, and then the guy he stood and he say, Hitler. This slave was insulting you. And Hitler, because he's amazing, 
and he's all justice. He said, because she is insulting me, yeah. her, his, her blood is for free. Remember, this is a history written by the Muslims. So if this is the great man, the great history, the Muslims here, when they wrote those stories, they are proud of it. They are not reporting something to be ashamed of. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. And even be between the hadiths, there's disagreement uh, between different schools of thought. Our friends, no, the just... disagreement, let me tell you about the disagreement. This is all is a, is, a, is, a, is a garbage talk. Because the Muslims, when they disagree about something, it's just to support a propaganda. As an example, if you are a Shia, you say this book I don't agree with. If you are a Sufi, everyone here has his own propaganda, so to support his ideas. Yeah. Otherwise, all those hadiths, there's no guarantee. And the Quran, too, there's no guarantee. Okay. If we go now in the page number A in the Quran, I don't know if you have the Arabic Quran. It says that this Quran, according to recitation of the following, or Hafs, Hafs Ibn Asim and Asim Ibn blah, 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 Okay, what is the Quran? There's no Quran. All of this is recitation. Yes. Okay, what and is the proof? What is the proof that this is the true Quran? If Asim himself accused by a Muslim to be a fraud. And there's, there's a Quran in Welsh, uh, oh. you know, people in Morocco, they have uh, Welsh or Welsh, I don't know what it's called. There's yeah, there's, there are, there's many Quran. <laughs> yeah, correct. So, you know, after all this conversation, my friend, what do you think? Why do you want to leave Islam? Well, to be honest, in my heart, I, I just, you know, I, I try to like explain and say maybe there's another way. But when you read it, if, you, if you're honest to yourself, um, you know, and a bit intelligent, you don't have, I mean, you don't really have to lie because you're lying to yourself. If that's what it says, um, that's what it is. But for me to, you know, to go out officially and say um, that I left it, you know, there's going to be a bit of consequences. You know, where I'm from is not that easy to say, look, I just left it. So, um, even so, so let me understand you. You are saying you are not going to say I left, but in your heart you left. Yeah, I always had one. Um, I always wondered, and even this going in, in in the direction of the Qibla like, didn't make you, sense to me. You are you are a person who just left Islam, but you don't want to say I left Islam. I got it. Okay, Good yeah, and where I'm from is difficult. Um, I understand. Um, so, my friend, I'm happy for you. You call me to prove to me Islam to be true, and we have the end of the conversation. You agree with me that Islam is a false religion? That's wonderful. Fast. Don't start with me today. Come on. I'm not in the mood to dance. Come on. Happy B! Oh Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the red to another yeah. nigga city. I got a brand new Draco with me. Okay. I got dirty, just got a cool. Big A heard of me, I got a rich one. Give me my slice to get back. I ride my strap in the front. And my dad was all set like crap. Got a bitch with me, she a boy. <laughs> you don't want to start with me. Got some hood niggas posting in the jar. I have this nigga all back up a card. Spend her at Bird 33 on Cartier. I got 33 with me. I'm a flow through the city, sipping on some shot in it. Oh my god. I'm a buying out the bar today. Yeah, I'm buying out Barney's. Yeah, I'm a hang with the gang bangers. He only hang with the fans and the rays and the mice. I'm a young nigga pulling with the bullets. I'm a pull up with a strap. We gon' get him on sight. We gon' make a thriller like Mike. Do it, 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 Happy for you. Well, you know, if, if I'm completely honest, um, I'll have to admit, logically, I'll have to admit that, you know, scientifically, there are some things that don't make sense. Uh, you know, the sun setting again, it, it doesn't make sense. You can lie, you can say, okay, it's how someone saw it and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, you're fooling yourself, to be honest. And I don't want to do that either, because, you know, it's a matter of salvation. It's not. Exactly. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. What do you like to say to us? Supposed you are a Muslim, yes. right? Yes, yes. All right, I'm go a ahead. Muslim, yes. Go ahead. Who is uh, so? Uh, the topic yeah, is what? about who is uh, who is uh, the one who Allah wanted to slaughter, uh, sacrifice, yes, uh, sacrifice. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. First of all, <laughs> you uh, you gave us the um, that quote from the Quran. That verse that you gave, and you took it completely out of context. Which one? Read with me carefully. وَرَسُولًا إِلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي قَدْ جِئْتُكُمْ بِآيَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ إِنِّي أَخْلُقُ إِنِّي أَخْلُقُ Who, What he's saying? I create, I create from the mud a figure of a bird and I فَأَنْفُخُ فِيهِ And I breathe and it's going to be a bird by the will of Allah. Okay. By the will of Allah, this is the Muslims adding it. 
but what is confirmed that Jesus he make a figure this is this is also weird because we have that uh, what Allah uh, did to Mary he also anfakh he also blew no, in her correct he, he, so it's he, so he, weird that Jesus will blow, will blow in the in the in the clay and also God blows in that he's so no this is how this is how Allah he created Adam too yeah exactly he blew mm -hmm. in the, the like if 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 Jesus wasn't God why couldn't he just I don't know like throw it in the air and it would fly and be created why does he have to do the same exact action as God how Allah, unless yeah, yeah unless he's he, God unless he is the one who created Adam so when I have fa fashioned him completely and breathe into him who is the one who breathed Allah supposedly but we find that Jesus is doing the same as Allah. Yeah. So if Allah trying to convince me that Jesus is just a prophet, he failed. He gave him too much power. Let us say that those miracles are given this power given to Jesus. Not he even can tell you what you had in your house is correct. Does it say that? Read, read, read with me. It says not only he healed the leper, he made the blind see. Uh, uh, he uh, not only that. He says, I and I inform you what you ate or what you eat and what you store in your houses. How you can do that? Is it the unseen? Muhammad in the Quran says, uh, uh, you know, I don't have uh, the, the knowledge of the unseen. How come Muhammad, he have the knowledge uh, of the unseen, but Jesus have the knowledge of unseen? What do you uh, think? Yeah. Muhammad is a prophet and the Muslims, not only they say he's a prophet, they say he is the greatest prophet. Yeah. So how Jesus, he have the knowledge of the unseen? And Muhammad do not know mm -hmm. the knowledge of the unseen. Yeah. And the Quran confirmed that the one who knows the unseen is all is Allah. Allah is all knowing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Allah is all knowing. But as you see, that the one who have the knowledge of how how uh, he's just a man. I mean, how we, how this person, you go and you store something, you hide some money in your house, and Jesus will tell you that you hide this in your house. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So what do you think, my friend? Everything leads us to one thing, that Jesus, even in the cult of Islam, Jesus is nothing like him. He is the spirit of Allah, according to Muhammad. He is Kalimatullah, wa ruhahu, alqaha ila maryam. And not only that, actually, the same verse saying that he is the, the, the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah sent to Mary, is the same word confirming the Trinity, but in the Islamic way. Yeah. Because there it says that Jesus is the Word of God and Jesus is the Spirit of God and Jesus is the Messenger of God. When we Christians, we agree that Jesus, He came with the message. But He is the message Himself. He is the Word. And this is why it says in the book of John, in the beginning it was the word and the word was with god and the word is the god or was the god so jesus is the word of god the quran says that jesus is a spirit proceeding from god well this is what the holy spirit is about this is why jesus said yeah i will yeah. leave you i will not you will not be alone every two of you mention my name i will be between them i will be the third how he can be that and he said i will send you the i will send you the comforter which means he will not leave us alone. We will be always having the Holy Spirit with us. So the word, the spirit, and the man, that is Jesus. Muhammad here is copying the Bible. But this is a wrong trinity. This is a wrong trinity. We don't believe in the trinity of Islam. We believe that Jesus was the word of God, yes, but the word of God is God himself. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And how Jesus yeah. can be spread proceeding from him. 
I mean, isn't it Adam created by God and that's it? Mm -hmm. Jesus, why Jesus is not son of Adam? Yeah, why well, he did he didn't say that like Adam is the spirit of God. And why like, he Maha, is why is it only Jesus? And why just only like in the Bible from, from all mankind, there's only one person. He is not the son of Adam. That doesn't make sense. So who's his father? The Quran says that the father of Jesus is God, because who is the one who made Mary have Jesus? God. It's not like a man and the women having sex together and they have a son. No. Like in the case of Abraham, God gave a gift to Abraham. He gave him Isaac. But Isaac is a son of Abraham, not the son of God. Abraham was sleeping with his wife. But because she is old, she cannot conceive. So God, he made a miracle. He made her able to conceive from Abraham, not from God. But in the case of Mary, Mary, she had been, never been touched by a man. So why all of these scenes about yeah, Jesus? Yeah, yeah. Is Jesus? Yeah, I understand. So what do you think, my friend? Uh, I think I guess you're right. Do you accept Christ as your savior? Yes, I accept Christ as I mean my to that. Hallelujah. I mean to that, my friend. I'm really happy for you. I'm back. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. What? Oh my God. What? Are you hyping yourself? Let's go. Hey. What? What you tell him? What you tell him? Uh, I'm really, really, you made my day. You made really my day. So I'm really grateful for the Lord to send you to me today. So we have this beautiful conversation. And I am grateful that you, uh, 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 you accepted the right way to be saved. Everybody is happy for you. Imagine, the Lord is amazing. You call me today to correct me. Correct? Correct. You call me yeah. to prove me wrong. And the Lord, he did his work. It's not a Christian prince who did it to you. It's the Lord. He opened your eyes. The Lord, he guided you. And praise be to the Lord, because he is from now on is going to be your guidance. And my friend, I advise you from now to read the four Gospels, John, Mark, Luke, all the four. And if you have any question, I will be happy. You can call me anytime. Well, Muhammad is the prophet, so if he like, we should uh, if what he says is the uh, from God, so we should. It's just like we're basically obeying no problem. God. What he say from God, then you should obey God. Why you put the name of Muhammad there? If 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 what he said from God, say obey God. Why he put his name there? If I say to you that I am a prophet and God told me to do that, then obey God, not obey me. And read with me here what it says. Amazing. Muhammad, he been given 16 privilege. 16 privilege. The first one, Safiyul Maghnam, which means the best of the booty. So if you if we attack a house, the big the big screen TV go to the Prophet. The small TV goes for you. And Al Ashir, Ida Waka Basarahu ala Imra Wajaba ala Zawjiha Talakiha wahala lahu nikahua. The mic is yours. Translate, please. If, if he sees a woman, uh, her husband has to divorce her, and she is uh, she is permissible for him to uh, f her. Okay. What do you think of this? Why, if your prophet saw a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately, so the prophet he can sleep with her? Uh. Well. Uh, this is like. Uh, what servant? What 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 that have to do with God, my friend? What did that have to do with God? 
Imagine I am a person trying to say to you that I am here coming to serve God. I'm a servant of God. God, he sent me to you. And then I say to you, if I see your wife and I like her, you have to divorce her so I can sleep with her. What kind of religion this religion is? Well, I mean, like uh, in the Bible, uh, Solomon had 700 wives. My friend, my friend. The Bible is a book of history and the book of God, which means history of people with God. So, in the Bible, it might say Christian prince, he commits sin. It might say Christian prince commit adultery. It might say that Christian prince, he killed people. It might say Christian prince, he have a thousand women. But it's not God who told him to have and to do. There's a huge difference. Here, this guy, he claimed that this is coming from his God. We have in the Bible many people who commit sin and they are asking God for forgiveness. As an example, David himself. He commits sin and he asks God for forgiveness. He did not say that God told me to look at this woman, uh, this woman and he and, and, and sleep with her. He did not make an excuse that this is coming from God. What your prophet doing, he want women to sleep with him and he claim it is God. This is a privilege from God. This is not his fault. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think you're right. This is like wrong so my friend thank you very much you see you are a decent man this guy i told you I, I have a feeling about about people you know this person is coming from a good family he, there's no way his owner will accept such a thing if muhammad tried to do that to your wife i'm sure you will kill him because you have an honor you are not a trashy person who will accept such a thing you have dignity yeah this is wrong so, denounce Islam, my friend. Say Islam is obviously Muhammad is a false prophet. That's it. Get out of this cult. They fool you. They say to him, he's a trustworthy. He is the good guy. He is the perfect man. He is the perfect between the best of mankind. They worship him. They made him in a in a point that nobody even dared to question his honor. But the second we start reading, and we did not even read much. There is tons of stories. Disgusting. We are just scratching the surface outside and look what we found. And as long as you agree that this is wrong, that's when Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Correct, my friend? Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. I'm so happy for you that you decide to leave us now. some of our youth feel. Researchers show that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Our youth are full of doubts and nobody's answering their questions. And this is not only the problem, the majority of our youth are not even praying their five daily salah. Apostasy is happening in America. This is the last thing. 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims, American born That's Muslims. Right. Dr. Bilal Phillips in a recent Friday sermon openly has warned the Muslim community that apostasy will come like a tsunami. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have very difficult time stand it will knock us over wallahi you would wish if you're an salafi that they become an ash'ari before they become a disbeliever and you would wish if you're an ash'ari they become a, and so on priorities uh, most of the ummah doesn't pray five times a day 
Yani, come on, man. Like, seriously, do I have to even explain this to the people, right? It's important that we prioritize. Then we can have the healthy discussions where people have reached a certain level. We can't afford it here, I'm afraid to say. Otherwise, you're going to see the community is going to change face. And our preservation is going to be at risk. Do you know what's going to happen? We're going to be eaten out from outside. We're talking about, you know what I'm trying to say? How to, uh, it's, it's not a leather sock, yes, a leather sock. Who cares if it's a leather sock or not, man? Your, your child is going to become an apostate. And you're talking about it's a leather sock. How dare you, man? It's a leather sock, you know. Shut up! No, shut up! Like, if Islam is wrong, then, then like, uh, like what's what's the truth like my friend i don't know my I've friend been raised i advise you i advise you to go and download the the bible the, the the new testament because the new testament is about jesus and his teaching the old testament is history and a lot of history read the teaching of jesus and kansas. see what jesus is about kansas. Kansas. muhammad obviously he's a person working for his own he, he opened a corporation he put the title of god but the fact Behind the title, there is something else. There is someone trying to use you and abuse you and take advantage of you. Read about Jesus. You will see it's the opposite. You are the one who said to me, the Christian believe that God died for them. So look, 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 look how different is Jesus and Muhammad. Jesus, he came to us to save us and even his life paid to save me. He did not ask me for return. And look at this guy. He wanted to sleep with my wife. Jesus, he did not ask for money. Imagine if Jesus, he can raise people from death. How many kings they will give him everything they have? All the kings in the world, they will be his slaves. Just keep me alive, please. Each time I die, keep me alive. If Jesus will abuse his power, which is beyond imagination, what Jesus can do? So I invite you right now, my friend, to accept the Messiah as your savior. You breathe, but there is no guarantee that you will breathe tomorrow. Maybe you are young, but don't worry. There's many people, they are young and they die before the old one. I invite you right now as we speak to accept the Messiah, the amazing teaching of the Messiah, the Savior, Yeshua, the Messiah, Yeshua al Messiah, the only Savior, the one who says, love your enemy, for he have the authority. If somebody asks you for your code, give him your address. If somebody asks you to walk a step with him, walk with him 1,000. If somebody curse you, pray for him. Don't curse him and kill him. He did not say to people, give me your women. The second a man he serves sex, it means he is serving the devil. He did not say, give me your, 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 your money. God do not need money. And even servant of God. The second a man he works to serve money, it means he is serving the devil. You see, all of us, we are sinners, and me and you, we are not better. We, we get tempted. We get tempted by women. We get tempted by, by, by sex, by, by, by money. But we don't claim that God is telling me to do that. That's disgusting. That is an insult to God, if God is a true exist. So I invite you right now, my friend, to accept the Messiah as your Savior. And you cannot say one day, I never heard of you, the Messiah, because one day the time will come and the Messiah will ask you, did the person, his name is a Christian prince, say to you, I invite you to accept me as your savior. And you said no. I like the, the message of Christianity, like love and forgiveness. I think that uh, that's like nice. So. Uh, I don't know. You know, my friend, you know, it's not only about forgiveness. It's not only about love. You see, the first thing Jesus teach you is not to be selfish. Jesus is anti-selfishness. Serve others so you can be served. When Jesus, he said to his followers, I want to wash your feet. They said to him, what are you talking about? You are our God. How you can wash our feet? They refuse. He said to them, if you don't let me do it, you don't belong to me. Imagine God himself, who is coming to us as a man. He is humbling himself and washing our feet. Why Jesus is doing that? He don't need to do that. This person is resurrecting people from death. Is This person is making the blind see. And then he said to them, I want to wash your feet. Because Jesus want to give us the best example how you can be a follower of him. 
God is king, we the soldiers. Ultra beam out the solar. When I get to heaven's gates, I ain't gotta peek over. Keeping perfect composure. When I scream at the chauffeur, I ain't mean, I'm just focused. I ain't mean, I'm just focused. Put a lean out slower. Got us clean out of soda. Before the flood, people judge. They did the same thing to Noah. Everybody wanted Yandy. The Jesus Christ did the laundry. They say that we start on Monday, but the strong start on Sunday. Won't be in bondage to any man. John 8:33. We the descendants of Abraham. Yea, you should be made free. John 8:36. To whom the Son said free is free indeed. He say the rest like. Because Jesus want to give us the best example how you can be a follower of Him. Because Jesus want to give us the best example how you can be a follower of Him. So I truly from my heart, my friend, I invite you to accept the Messiah because this is an opportunity. It might not come to you again. I accept them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A happiness in the kingdom of God. A happiness in the kingdom of God for this brother who accepted the Messiah as his savior. The Bible says that a happiness in the kingdom of God will be for one, one soul is saved. This is how much God he loves you, my friend. And now you are a child of God. Child of God, that's mean you are in his kingdom. You are under his care. You are under his protection. You are beloved for him. He is always about love. You made a decision you will never regret. And the Lord, he loves you, my friend. I'm so happy today that you called me. I'm so happy that you reached the right decision. Uh, thank you. Um, I, uh, I'll have to keep this secret because like, uh, I, my family wouldn't like it, but I'll, I'll start reading the Bible and uh, learn. All right, my friend. If you have any question, feel free to call me. All right? Okay. All right, my friend. I'm so happy for you. I don't even know your name, but I don't care. For the Lord, he knows your name. Your name is not important. Your name might be Muhammad, but the Lord, he loves you. Your name is not what will define you from today. It is who you are. From their fruits, you will know them. And you will notice, my friend, that you will change. You will be a different person. You are not a black stone kisser no more. You will be a different person. You are not a black stone kisser no more. You are not in need to pray in direction of a stone. God is everywhere. And God, he don't care for people who pray in the corner. Actually, Jesus, he warned us not to be like them, not to be hypocrite. He said, when you pray, go to your closet. So I advise you today, before you sleep, my friend, anytime you wish, don't force yourself on a certain time to pray. This is Christianity, this is not Islam. God is not a bus station. He will take your prayer in a certain time. If you miss it, he will not take it. That is a joke. Anytime you feel like your heart wanna to speak to the Lord, speak to him. Say whatever you wish. He is listening. Be decent with yourself. Confess your sin. Say, God, I am a sinner. Speak about your sin. Not because you are proud of it, but because you are humble and you know that you are wrong. I accept them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A happiness in the kingdom of God. A happiness in the kingdom of God for this brother who accepted the Messiah as his Savior. The Bible says that happiness in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A happiness in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go! Let's go! What? What?